What's up, everyone? It is Mr. Bradley, and I am back after a long, long hiatus from YouTube. And I'm back today with an update on a video I made in the past that taught people how to produce on FL Studio on Mac. But back when I made that video, there was only a crossover version available for Apple users. And today in 2021, thankfully, we have a native version. So today, what we have to go over is all of the new shortcuts and key combinations that you're going to want to use to improve your workflow and improve that efficiency, because we all know that is key if you want to be a producer in today's day and age. All right, let's jump into it. So I have this beat right here. Um, let's just take a listen to see what we're working with real quick. All right, so cool, got that beat going. The first thing I wanna go over is all of the shortcuts that you can use in the playlist window. Okay, so the first shortcut you're gonna to wanna to know is Command S for save. That is the most important shortcut you're gonna to need to know out of this whole video because everyone's had those projects that doesn't save because you just forgot to fl studio might crash your computer might crash whatever the case may be so to prevent that just hit command s as much as possible all right the next shortcut um is fn delete so let's say we select this pattern and you can select a pattern by holding command clicking or command click and drag or let's say you want to select multiple patterns at once you can command click and then hold shift and click so command shift and click lets you select multiple or you command shift click and drag too that all works um, let's say you want to delete this pattern you can either just right click right on the pattern or you can right click drag if you want to select multiple um, but in just in case you're not wanting to use the right click on your mouse maybe you just want to delete it you can also press fn and delete so function delete will delete the same as right clicking now let's say i want to go back obviously everyone knows command z but you can also take it a step farther hold command option z and go back in time multiple steps and you'll see that down here this is um all of the moves um that you've made that gets recorded in fl studio and you can obviously just go in here and then select the last thing that you want maybe you felt good about something here um, but also if you hold command option z that'll just go back in time too okay i'm sure everyone knows once you select something command c to copy command x to cut and command v to paste um, but just be careful because it doesn't always paste it in the exact place you want it. And if anyone knows how to make sure FL Studio knows exactly where you want to paste um, a pattern or a MIDI note, please let me know because I am not familiar myself. Okay, one of my favorite tools um, is holding the option button to move a pattern not according to the grid you have selected okay so you see i'm holding option and then sliding left clicking holding with my mouse and sliding to move it off grid um and that's just for me i know a lot of people might use either like line or cell i'm not sure which one or step even i'm not sure but um i'm usually always on bar just because that gives myself more room for error you know, I'm not going to nudge things slightly off the grid if it's on like line. Um, just so just to prevent me from having to zoom in all the time and like aligning super fine. I just keep it on bar. And if I need to align something, I'll either just change to like beat or step even or as I mentioned, just hold option and you can click and drag 
to align it that way. Okay, I think everyone knows if you hold shift, click and drag, that lets you copy a pattern and then move it to wherever you want. Um, but if you select a pattern and press command B, it will annex that pattern you just selected onto the end. So that's really useful when you're arranging beats. Um, let's just say you want to, so this is the 808. And you'll see like all of these um, grayed out patterns. Um, they were MIDI notes with some plugins or I had like some uh, parallel going on for the 808. I just consolidated it just for the sake of keeping my CPU low. Um, but let's, let me just cut this up real quick. And maybe I like this um, texture I have going on. A quick way to just duplicate that onto the end without having to click and drag and hold shift is just command B and that'll paste the start of what you selected onto the end. So that's a really useful trick I like to use a lot. Okay, and now let's go over the toolbar shortcut. So this is actually something I was just messing around with in preparation for this video, um, because this is one of the trickier, less intuitive things about FL on Mac. So um, I like to use the paint tool, just so if I have a pattern, if I click on it, I can like paint them as much as I want. Um, just for like arrangement purposes. Some people might use the draw tool. It's the same thing, it just doesn't let you draw. Um, or sorry, it doesn't let you paint. But if you wanna switch quickly, um, you could go up here. It's not that less efficient, but if you um, want to use keyboard shortcuts, I will let you know what they are. So the draw tool is shift and P, okay? Let's say I wasn't, let's say I was on the paint tool. If I want to use the draw tool quickly, I could press shift P on my keyboard. That will take me to the draw tool. If I want to use the paint tool, I can press shift and B on my keyboard. That'll take me to the paint. Or you can press option B as well. That's the same. Um, the delete tool. Now I'm not even gonna teach you what that is because honestly it's so long to click this or click the keyboard shortcut and then click on the pattern. Honestly, the best thing to do is just right click and drag or just right click. There's no time wasting trying to go here and then clicking and then going back. Even with the keyboard shortcut, it's just not useful at all. So I will not even teach you that one. Just use the right click, like I said. Okay, the mute tool, that is option, command, and T, okay? Now you can mute, or um, a shortcut I actually like to use is just double clicking the right mouse button quickly, okay? And then I'm still holding, and you can see it turns into the mute tool, okay? So I just let go of my um, right mouse button and you see it diverts back to the paint tool. So double click right mouse button and I'm still holding it and then you can click and drag and then just highlight to mute or unmute whichever patterns you want. So the slip tool you can press shift S or you can press option S. So the paint and the slip you can press shift and the button for it or option in the button for it whichever is comfortable. For me, my left pinky is already on shift, so I just like to use shift to go back to go back and forth between those two. So the shift tool just lets you move audio within a pattern without having to chop it up. And um, since I'm on bar mode, you won't see a movement that noticeable, but you can keep stretching that. You can play around with it. Let me just revert back. And as I mentioned before, you can combine it with the option, hold option, and then click and drag, and that lets you move it not according to the grid. Okay, now for the slice tool, you can't press shift, but you can press option C. Option C, and then you can do whatever you need to do. You can just either click and drag like this, or what I like to do to keep it precise is hold shift, and then click and drag, and that lets you 
slice directly on grid. Um, also, if you hold shift and right click, that'll just delete whatever's shortest on the pattern. So if I do it right here, it'll delete this end. Let me command Z. If I hold it right here, it'll delete that beginning. And in the middle, I think it deletes, yeah, it deletes to the right of it. So just be careful with that one if you're holding shift with the slice tool. Okay, onto the select tool. I really don't even wanna tell you what this one is because that's just gonna decrease your efficiency, decrease the workflow. So like I said, um, in the beginning of the video, just hold command, click and drag, or command, shift, click, multiple, or click and drag or just yeah click and drag all of them so the zoom tool if you hold command and right click it'll zoom in um according to whatever you have in the playlist and then if you do the same thing hold command and then right click again it'll zoom out back to view everything you have in the playlist so you see here this is like the longest um these automations are the longest clips in the playlist so if I zoom in and then zoom out, it'll basically just let me view everything in the playlist. All right, cool. Let's move on to the step sequencer. So in the step sequencer, not many shortcuts um, that don't apply directly to Mac. But if you want to, let's say you want to rearrange. So I have my kick. Let's say people just feel more comfortable if it's at the bottom. I can hold option and then the down arrow or the up arrow to reorganize and then also you can hold a uh, shift and then select multiple and then let's say you like them all together you can send them to the bottom or rearrange them however you want also a shortcut whatever you have um, highlighted right here you can click that again and it'll select everything so that's basically it for the step sequence or if anyone has any of the shortcuts that they use on the daily please let me know love to hear those drop those in the comments but let's move on to the piano roll okay so the piano roll um a lot of the shortcuts copy over from the playlist uh for example command a i think we mentioned before um command c x v is all the same thing Okay, let's say you want to audition everything in an octave that is different from this one. You can hold Command A to select everything and then press Command and then up arrow to move it up an octave or down to move it down an octave. So that's really useful, not necessarily for these kicks I have here, but if you're testing out um, some sound, some instruments and you have some MIDI going, you can just quickly listen to what that sounds like transpose either up or down an octave and if you want to go by semitone you can just hold shift up or down and that'll move it accordingly all right another thing that could be useful let's say you want to extend all the notes and like i said this is not going to work that well for a kick but just for the sake of the tutorial you can hold option l after you've selected everything by the way and that will articulate all these notes to extend to the next note. And also, let's just say you don't, you wanna shorten all the notes at the same time, you can have them selected and then press Shift and D and that will shorten them to the smallest grid you have selected. So I'm on step, Shift D would have shortened it to step. If I was on um, a half beat, it would have shortened it to a half beat. Okay, and then for the toolbar shortcuts in here. Okay, normally I'm on the draw tool, but let's say you want to move to the paint tool, you can press shift B, that's the same as the playlist. Let's say you wanna to switch to the slice tool that is different from the playlist. In the playlist, you would press shift option C, but in the piano roll, you press command option C, and that lets you switch to the slice tool. Okay, the mute tool, you can press shift T or as I mentioned in the playlist window, you can just double right click on your mouse button and then keep that held and then just drag over to the, the notes you want to mute and you can mute that way as well. Okay, the playback tool shortcut is shift Y and you can hear if you click and hold and drag on the right mouse button you can audition that sound okay and let me switch back to the draw tool by just pressing shift p 
okay that's about it for the piano roll so let's move on to the mixer window again not many shortcuts here that apply directly to mac users of fl studio but um some shortcuts i like to use same as in the step sequencer you can hold option and then left and right to rearrange mixer inserts you can also hold command click and drag to select multiple or command shift and click to select specific ones while keeping the same previous inserts highlighted too and then you can let's say you want to move all those you hold option right or option left it's the same as in the step sequencer okay and that brings me to another shortcut for the playlist if you hold command and click on this black bar right here command click and drag you can set a loop point that way um, another way to add on to that loop point let's say you want to extend it to the 17th bar right here you can just right click and hold and continue to drag like that you can shorten it the same way too so if you hold right click hold and drag and then move it back here now that's your loop point so it's a useful tool I, I like to use and let's just keep this loop selected and maybe let's say we want to bounce this kick pattern into audio okay so i'll go to my kick insert in the mixer window and press this button right here to arm the track and that allows me to press option r that'll bring up this pop-up window and i usually leave all of these um, prompts on the default but you can play with them see what works better for you um, and since we had that uh, loop selected in the playlist window we're gonna keep song selection on but you could also change this to pattern if you didn't want to highlight and loop that one pattern so if I press start we will wait for that to export and then go back to the playlist and you'll see on a free track insert you'll see that our kick is bounced to audio so if we audition and that's the exact same as right here so now you could tweak this audio if you wanted let's say maybe you wanted to move it down a whole octave you could see what that sounds like Maybe you're going for like a halftime switch up or something. So that's a useful tool. Um, you just have to make sure that you go back to the insert and then disarm it so you don't mess anything up in the future. And those are all of my shortcuts for FL Studio on Mac native users. If anyone has any more that they're willing to share, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. But thank you guys for tuning in and see you next time.